Hello peoples, how are you today? Pattern Dash Collections is where you want to be to find today's pattern. Scroll down to Pattern Focus. Uh, yesterday I said that I had this feeling I needed to look ahead and I'm glad I did because um, today's pattern is Tri Rose by Alina Light. And um, <clears throat> It's, it's a little bit complicated, and I've done this pattern before, um, before, I, before I zoom in on this. If you are on the, um, the pattern page at pattern-collections.com and you scroll down, there are two videos underneath the pattern itself. One is Alina's um, and one is mine from back in the day. I don't remember exactly when we did it, but... I went back and watched my video and I'm glad I did because it refreshed my memory as this is this is a bit of a challenge this one here um, but some people have been doing some awesome things in the group with it um, because I'm a little a couple of days behind I uh, have seen some of the work that other people have done with it and I, I'm, I'm excited to try it again um, so yeah the key here is okay step number one you're gonna do and I'm glad Nicole has created a, an actual step out for this rather than mine uh, she managed to somehow get it where it's not like a bazillion steps like I did um, you're gonna first draw a triangle and then another one and then build on that triangle around like this and make sure each one gets progressively larger and then when you get to this point here, you're going to have this little pie shape. You then want to add this triangle this way, sticking way out, and then this way, and this way. You just keep building around and around. And it's, it's one of those ones that's a little bit harder to see. It's much easier to watch somebody draw it than to do it. And then when you're done making it as big as you want to make it, um, you then go around here and aura this so that you kind of emphasize this spiral shape right here, right? And then um, you can fill in with these straight lines. Uh, people have been playing with something else besides straight lines here. Even Alina did it again. Um, in the group and she made this one that's really I think spectacular so I'm gonna maybe play with something that's not got these lines with some maybe something else um, but yeah let's let's get a piece of paper here get a tile go slowly with my light because I've learned that this red really washes out as I turn the light on okay slow so now I can see and what I want to make sure I do is I want to make sure that I have more than six initial pie pieces in the middle. I think I want eight. So I'm actually going to take my pencil. Oops, that's not in the middle. And very lightly you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this so that I can um, be a little more consistent with my middle piece. I, I learned, if you watch my other video, um, that if you don't have enough little pie pieces in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, do I, maybe I want even more. If you don't have enough pieces in the middle, you end up with a funky shape on the outside. So the more you can squeeze into the middle, the better. For this shape. I'm going to I'm going to try to get that many in there. Don't know if I can. Can you guys even see that? See what I drew? I just drew a little thing with pencil to kind of give me a guide as to where to start and how skinny to make these initial, I'm gonna leave it zoomed in. <coughs> Excuse me, 
these initial ones. So, let's get started. I'm going to do a little triangle right here, like that. And then next to it, I'm going to put another little triangle right here. And then next to it, and next to that one, another one. I'm making them a little bit bigger each time I come. This line's a little bit bigger than the last one. See how it gets a little bit taller? On my initial middle part. Okay, and then you want to make sure that this comes out. Okay, now you've kind of, you've got yourself a spiral in the middle. That's a little bit big, but that's all right. We can, we can deal. And now I'm going to erase my little pencil marks because I really don't want them there anymore. They drive me crazy when I have marks that I don't want. So now I've got this Nautilus or spiral shape. Now, the trick is to make sure that you're turning your tile every time. And you want to follow this angle with your next piece and come out this way. And then make your tent thing. And follow that and make your triangle. Follow that angle, make your triangle. See how I'm building it up? I'm following this previous angle and making it long. This arm makes a difference and then coming around like that. Follow this angle here and go like that. Follow this angle. Go like that. Can you see that? Follow this angle. Go like that. I'm going to follow this angle here. Some of them are going to be big, skinnier than others because in the middle here, I still didn't end up with consistency because, you know, I don't. But the more you have in the middle, the, the tighter you can make this in the middle, the better your curve is on the outside. This one here is, is kind of squarish because of that initial angle. I've got it too wide right there. I could have made it another one in there. Turn your tile, come out with that angle. Turn your tile. And you just keep turning your tile following the previous triangle. Straight out and longer. Straight out and longer. I'm going to make them bigger because I want to build it faster. The, the longer you make these each time, the faster the spiral gets big. really tight because those got really close together. And then this one, see, it really feels like it should have one like this, but it doesn't. It has it over here. Just a little bit more like that and maybe one more here. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna come right to the there to finish that off. I hope you were able to see that. I hope I didn't get completely out of frame. I wanted it nice and close so you could see what I was doing. But I 
now that this is not the first time I've ever drawn this, now this is the second or third time I've drawn it, I'm getting better at it. But I've decided that rather than doing the straight lines, I want to do something else inside. Um, Alina did a sort of a swirly sort of a thing. Um, I'm going to try like a teardrop shape maybe. I'm going to try this. In each of these and I didn't oh I didn't put my double line oh well that's all right the main thing is to try to get this spiral if you've got that spiral in you're doing good teardrop in here. Why not? Is that working? It seems to be working. You know, I didn't start at the end here. Just to go here. Didn't start at the end because I'm confused as to where that edge is. Edge is here. Needs to go like that. Okay. Yeah, it would have helped if I did the double line. Can I still get the double line in there? I probably can. Let me... I'm going to do it on the outside for this, but then I'm going to go back in the middle. But I can kind of fake the outside ones, right? Sure I can. here and then I'm going to do them from the inside like I'm supposed to be along this edge because that's going to help me with my my teardroppy things is to keep track of where the edge is on this spiral. Yeah, that's going to help a lot for me to know which side of the triangle I'm supposed to be aiming for for my, my little teardroppy shape that I've decided to put in here that I know when I get toward the middle, it's not going to be able to continue because it's too small of an area. But we'll see what happens when I get to the middle here. And the first one. Okay. Already it's looking better. Okay, so comes from here. So this first one's gonna come from here. It's gonna come down and around like that. And this one's gonna come down and around like this. Yeah. 
That's different, huh? Why not? You don't have to be the same as everyone else. Someone uh, was messaging me the other day, and she was she was showing me her art, and um, she said she couldn't draw a teardrop shape to save her life. I get it. There are just some shapes that you just need to practice. You just need to get out a plain old piece of you know notebook paper, printer paper, sketchbook, back of a envelope from the trash, you know nothing precious and get plain old pen don't use one of your good markers just use a a ballpoint pen or pencil and just practice the shape if you're having troubles with a particular shape because that's all it is is practice and getting your hand used to a particular type of shape round and up Round and up. Running out of space. This one can have maybe more than two, maybe not. down to two. Pretty soon I'll only be able to put one in. This one's really big. Yep. Now I can get one in. Sort of. The ones in the middle there really can't get much more in there. Well, that's okay. I'll still try. It's tiny. And then I think what I want to do is I want to fill in the black spots. I'm going to get my little bit bigger pen, but I'm not going to get out my brush pen because that's way too much. But I'm getting in my 03. This one happens to be a Stettler pigment liner. You can use whatever you have. I'm just making it. And I'm just going to fill in between my little teardrops. I think that will look pretty. Making sure I still keep my little um, double line. I'm glad I went in there and did it, even though I had forgotten it first. I'm glad I went back and fixed that because I think that makes, makes a difference on this particular tangle. Now that I've done it once, this time was not near as hard. So, you know, it just takes some practice. I would suggest maybe even trying it with pencil first. Give yourself some time to, um, to give this one a practice. And turn your tile. I cannot emphasize enough how much turning your tile is really important on this one. So Nicole has been super sweet and has given me advanced copy of the December Tangles. So you guys know that I'm, I am a, a, a 
a little behind. And so this is a November tangle that you guys are getting in December. Um, I'm going to try to catch up. I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. But it won't be until after the contractor is done with my bathroom. So, um, so I've been trying to think about how I want to make my tiles Christmassy. No matter what kind of pattern it is. They're all going to be, um, you know, Christmas inspired patterns. Um, probably in the winter vein, maybe flowery. I'm assuming there's going to be something in a poinsettia type shape, maybe. There are, there are a couple that came to my mind that I've done in the past um, that are wintry, that are not on uh, Pattern Dash Collections website. They're on another, they, they're housed elsewhere. So, I mean, I may do some of those as well as like a bonus. Um, That'll help me fill in for when I'm I'm so far behind. Uh, and help me catch up a little bit. Get the right days going here. Yeah. But those ones I'll be able to just show you how I draw it. But not how um, the step out looks. Because I don't have, won't have permission to show the, the step out from the other website. Um, but I think I may do that. There are a couple of them that really, one for sure that I will do as like a background. Um, now I've forgotten the name of it, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's a background one that would be easy to incorporate into my tiles. So my tiles will probably look very much like the fronts of Christmas cards, I think. That's the that's the effect I will probably be going for. I may break break out my colored microns and draw instead of drawing in black, maybe I'll draw in blue or green or pink or red. That would be very festive. I like how this is turning out. Sorry, I got quiet. That happens when I'm just having fun and enjoying my coloring. I do like the way this looks though. Keep that little bit of, it's hard to do, keep that, uh, that double line there. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Almost done. You guys can watch, finish watching me color shortly, or you can just fast forward. I'm not saying anything interesting anyway. Okay, now in the middle, I need to figure out what I did in the middle here. That's very tiny. I wish I had my new glasses. Went to pick them up and they were not correct. So I had to take them back. And I haven't gotten them, the corrected ones yet. So I, that's just really hard for me to see right in there. But I think it's all right. There we go. I think it needs some sort of... I'm going to put some flux. Because that's kind of like the shape I've already got going on inside. If I do, I'm going the other way. And just kind of... Build it up like that, and maybe over here. some coming out of here. Good enough? Good enough. Okay. So, I need to put the name, which is Tri Rose, right? It's going to live like that. Yeah, I think so. If you've noticed, I've started putting my signature like really tucked up into my thing and rather than like way out here because it makes it harder for someone to crop out my signature. Not impossible, just harder. Anytime you put uh, your work on the internet, there's a possibility that somebody will um, abscond with it. So... You know, be aware that that's possible. But since these are not like giant works of art and I'm not doing these as commission pieces or anything, they're just simple little tiles. They, that doesn't bother me so much. But I don't want it like completely just stolen. Inspiring. I don't mind being inspiring, but don't steal my stuff, right? And then I need to decide 
what I want to do with these, I think I'm just going to do just a little bit of shading right on the top, right there. might not even need to put all this graphite down. I could probably just run around with my blending stump. I don't clean my stump off very often. I just usually just use whatever's left on it as like a light spreading of graphite elsewhere. Something like that. Just soft and subtle. Nothing, nothing garish. That's pretty. Okay. You stand back and you look at your stuff and you go, you know what? That's better than I thought. So give this a try. I still consider it a challenging tank, uh, pattern. It is not for beginners, I don't think. But you know what? When I was a beginner, I went ahead and did challenging patterns because, you know, that's me. So, you know, don't let that stop you. Just want to let you be aware that it is probably considered an, an advanced or challenging pattern. But, you know, absolutely give it a go. It's not, it's not impossible. It's just a little bit harder. And um, for sure, watch the other videos that are connected to the... Um, to the step out on the website um, they will also help you and I think I explain it better in the first video I did rather than this one this one I'm just drawing the other one I'm doing more explaining uh, that's it I hope you guys are having a great day I will see you later bye bye